Right, so we're going for uh, P2 and M1. Describe and explain health and safety considerations. Right, off we go, Alex. Go. Uh, first one is parkour. Uh, parkour is important because you need to make sure that you know about your partner to see if they have any injuries or health problems so that you know what to do if anything happens to them. What does it stand for, a parkour? Uh, physical activity, readiness, question there. Right, so what sort of questions might be asked on a parkour? Um, so, like, allergies or... Uh, doctor's information if you're on medication, like say if uh, you're a gym instructor for example um, and you needed to write a certain uh, nutrition program out which consisted of having supplements with the diet, so like say if it's a weight loss diet with protein shakes and stuff like that, you'd have to make sure they're not allergic or make sure that they're not on any medication for it. Good, well. next one. Mr. Gay, Mr. Sussman, Mr. Gay, it's important while doing sports, you need to make sure the equipment's safe um, is before you use them, so then you are preventing injury to your participants. Good. Also, on the risk of it, you have to have the hazard that you can be a risk to your sport e event, and you have to have the hazard effects to talk about what, what, what could happen if, if it was still there, if you didn't check it. And then you and then you have to talk about like give it a score the high mm -hmm. the higher it is the the it is the higher it could be the prevent injury if you don't check it yep. finally you have to control measures where you have to make sure you like go tell someone to check it before you you can use it good right next one uh, next one is contraindications this good. is uh, yep. this is basically uh, making sure that you've got enough information on the about allergies and things like that. Um, an example of this is if you were to write a nutrition program outdoor, um, give them uh, the client something that they're allergic to, like say nuts, for example, if it were protein by I don't give them a great amount of nuts in it basically. And what and what else have you got? Have you got any other information on that one? Uh, just that I'm afraid. <laughs> Anything else? What other things might a client not have? So say they might have cut themselves. Or oh, previous injuries and something like that. Or if you or if so, or if um, a client had cut themselves in the gym, what sort of things might might not be able to give them? Uh, plasters or anything like that because they could be allergic to plasters. So you'd have to find another way to heal the cut. Right. Okay. Good, right, next one. Contingency plan. Right, contingency plan. Go on, so talk yeah. to me about that. All right. A contingency plan is make sure that you, like, say if you get to your sports event mm -hmm. and uh, and you can't do it for any reason because it's the weather or the, it's not safe to do it, you have to make Good. sure you can, you have to make sure that you can do it, you have another plan so you can go through it because it passes no matter where you think? Can you give me an example when that might happen then? So the weather. Say if you're outside, like doing football and it's like snowing, so you have to make sure that you've got an indoor facility to do it in, so then, you, then you're not cancelling the session. Right, Alex, next one. Uh, next one, staff training. Good. Uh, recruitment takes place from the point when a business decides that it needs uh, to employ somebody up to the point where a pile of completed application forms uh, have arrived in the post. Um, selection then involves choosing an appropriate candidate through a range of sorting out suitable uh, candidates leading to interviews. So what sort of staff training might they have to do with them? So say gym instructor? Uh, they'd have to make sure they know how to do a park queue, a risk assessment on other equipment and things like that. What sort of documentation might they have to fill in before they get the job? Can you think? Can you think of any? CIB checks as well for any criminal records. Right. They have. So why is that important? Because you won't want someone working there that's got a criminal record for theft or assault or anything like that. Good. Chelsea, next one. Health screening report. Yeah. It's, it's important to do a health screening questionnaire, is it? Because you have to make sure that you uh, you know that like it relates to PACU. Because you have to give like, you a question saying, um, have you got any medical conditions? Do you smoke? Do you, do you do you take alcohol? Yeah. Before you do any training, so then you know if anything happens to them, you can sort it out and you can react to it quickly without panicking. 
Right, good. Right, so um, we'll go back to that P1 then. The first one about the principles of fitness training. For, for general sport then, which do you think is the most important? Just pick one each. So if you link it to your two sports, which one do you think is most important for rugby league, Chelsea? Uh, muscle too. Right, why? Give me three reasons. Right, you have to make sure you you got the muscles. So when you go into a tackle, you, you don't hurt as much. Yeah. Um, and you have to make sure you got you can um, you got power through you when you're running. And yeah. Make you have to make sure you got speed as well. So then you can when you get the ball, you can speed through the the defensive line. Good. Which do you think, Alex? Uh, I would to link it to my sport, which is Thai boxing. Uh, I would say muscular endurance. Reason being is because you need to be very quick on, like, say, if your opponent were hitting you, then you'd have yeah. to move out of the way for, for you to hit, be able to return attacks and things like that. Right, good. And just a little bit more on that contraindication. So you had, um, just summarise again. Just talk to me a little bit about that one again. The two, the two areas that you found out about allergies and so allergies in what in what in what sense? Uh, if a client were allergic to anything, then you couldn't give them what they were allergic to, like nuts or anything like that, or plasters as well. Right, good. Right, and then which um, health and safety considerations do you think is most important? So, if you had your own gyms, which one would you be prioritising the most? Risk assessment. Risk assessment. Why? So, you, so, it make, so they make sure you have to make sure that the equipment is safe before you can use it. Yeah. So then it prevents injury to your participants. Good, Alex. I'd say staff train with CRB to actually because you don't want to employ someone. Uh, like if they give you a fake application and you find out that they had criminal records in the past and you don't exactly want to employ someone where they're around other people where anything else can happen. Right.